Hey everybody, welcome to Pathfinder Adventure Card Game. Uh, Cross the Pharaoh's Land is our adventure. The scenario is all that glitters begets gold. Nathan has already, has not done this one, so we're doing it with him. Uh, so for this adventure, the Scourge die is a 1d4. I don't really know what that means. <laughs> uh, when you are dealt poison damage, if that damage is not reduced by at least one, you become poisoned. Oof. Uh, and then all that glitters begets gold is when you defeat a Bane that has the construct trait, draw an item from the box. So, that'll be one of these for you. Uh, I'll go first to show you kind of how it is. And I'll spread these out a bit. So, we have the stonework passages. All damage dealt to this location is reduced by one. Succeed a wisdom or survival check with a difficulty of six to uh, close this location. Um, wisdom or survival. How's your wisdom and survival? My wisdom's actually really good, uh, so. My wisdom's a D8. Mine's a D12. Uh, perception is, gives me a plus one. Okay, cool. Uh, then we have Quarry, which is add three to your check that has the bludgeoning trait, which will probably be neither of us because we're both spellcasters. Um, when closing, succeed a constitution or fortitude check with a difficulty of six plus the scenario's adventure deck number, so six. Uh, then we have up here the Rune Temple. I'm not going to be going to this one, by the way. When you play a card that has the divine trait, bury it. My deck mm. is like all divine. Mm. And to close it, you need to bury a blessing. Mm. Uh, then we have the Precious Mine, which is if you if a Bane encountered has a construct trait, uh, its difficulty is increased by 1d6. To close, succeed a strength or melee check with a difficulty of 6. So we're each going to choose where we want to start. I think I'm going to start in the place that has the wisdom, because I could probably roll a 6 on a d12. More than likely. Trying to think of common PBG in-game phrases for sound suggestions. Sick would be one. There's one I'm trying to think of. Mitchell and Julie said it too, as well as Justin, but for some reason not coming to mind. If you say, if you know what it is, let me know, because then I can yeah. record those. I'll go hang out at the temple. Sure. All right, I'll go first to show you a turn. Uh, how the game recommends doing it is kind of have the, when you draw a card, put in the discard facing you so we know that we haven't missed this part of the game because it's the most important part. All right, uh, so I'm going to, uh, the walkthrough of a turn. I'll leave this up here. Uh, so, uh, activate the Blessings deck, which I did. Uh, give a card to another player at your location, so no. Uh, move? No, I'm happy where I am, then I want to explore. Oh my god, so Just I found a Bone Crusher Wizard. When you examine this card, encounter, uh, encounter it. I did not examine, examine means look at the, look at the cards. Uh, before you act, the Bone Crusher Wizard deals one cold damage to me. So I'll take one cold damage and discard this spell. Um, so I'm going to encounter him. I'm going to fight him. I'm going to use this acid jet. So he has a difficulty of nine. For your combat check, discard this card to use your arcane or divine skill trait. So I have arc, uh, divine 1d12 plus two. I also get a plus d6. Um, and then this is going to stay here because it's going to resolve after this. Um... So I need to roll a nine on these two dice. That's pretty high. But I think I really don't want this guy to die. I really don't want this guy to live. So I'm gonna use this blessing to roll another d12. I've done it, I have defeated him. Proud of you. So he is defeated, he goes back into the box. He's also gonna deal one poison damage to me. But it's reduced by one. Neither of those happen. Nathan, you're much better at this game than me already. So I take no damage, you fucking punk. Yeah. Um, so then after playing this card, if I, I have the divine, so I can attempt to keep it in my hand by rolling a D. I need to roll an eight or higher on this. I rolled a four. It'll be discarded. I'm going to play my dead husband. Put this card on top of my deck to draw a spell from my discard pile. Nice. At the end of your turn, you draw back up to your hand size. You can also discard cards before then. I'm not going to, and I'll pass to you, Nathan. It's your turn. Excellent. So I do this first. So how, what, what is this? Oh, just you put it in this, just, uh, nothing. Oh, okay. Oh. Uh, but sometimes blessings will care about the top card of the blessing. Oh, deck. okay. Yeah. Cool, cool, cool. Uh, and then I encounter. Yeah, go for it. Let's see what you got. Heck yeah. Ooh, a crocodile, crocodile skin, skin shield. shield. Constitution or fortitude. Fortitude five. Oh, I should be able to do that fine. You roll d six. Uh, no, I roll a d eight. Constitution d eight. Wow, yeah. you might be able to get it. You got it. Nice. 
So you can either end here or keep exploring if you have the card that lets you do this. I do love my There's dead card that lets you. Yeah, some cards that you like. So uh, discard this card to explore your location. Okay, cool, cool, cool. You yeah, done? No, I don't, I'm, uh, oh, wait. Can I place a card or do I have to have done that already? Uh, it's a spell. I think you could do it at any time. Anytime you want to play a card, you can do it. Okay. Yeah. Um, how's it going, OC Brad? I guess we'll be seeing the alligator later. No. Actually, no, I'm not in a wild crocodile. I'm for now. All right. We're going to keep exploring this area. I got Holy Light. That's a spell. I could potentially get this. For your combat check, let's do this. So I roll. I need to get eight or higher. I rolled up. Oof. All right. Easy come, easy go, right? That's fine. Um, I'm going to end my turn. There you go, buddy. I got that oh, for hey, you. Thanks. I'm going to hang out here, too. Ooh, hey, blessing. Hey, hey, uh, Whatever my highest is, it looks like. Spider intelligence. Which is my intelligence. Go for it. You just need to... 50%. So you don't get the plus two because it's not an arcane yep. check. Nice. Oof. You gain it. Oh, yeah, I did. Yeah, so high. then you could instantly discard that to explore again, but you also need to bury a blessing to close this location, so it might be good for you to keep. I think there is a hand size, because I play a digital version of this game, and sometimes it makes me discard cards. Oh, there's a digital version of this game. Also. Yeah, it's really fun. Oh, discarding down to your hand size, so it is your hand size. Okay, okay. More cards so than then... Screw it, I will discard this then. Cool, so just put it in your discard pile, and reveal the new card. Oh, yeah, let's shock go. Elemental. He's immune to all electricity, mental, and poison traits. That's all fine. damage dealt by the shock elemental is electricity damage. If you play a weapon, you're not going to play a weapon. He's going to attack me with the electricity damage? Uh, no, uh, it's not called Dead Husband. It's called Honair. He's my dead husband. And you dealt by it is electric damage. Okay, I'm going to play this then, Elemental Treaty. So you won't be able to play another spell oh, I to do okay. damage. Okay, okay. Yeah, just all so right. you know. So how do I deal damage? All right, so you're now at the part. So how it works yeah. is, uh, let's look at the encounter. Because I might be able to play that card anyway. So apply any effects that happen before you act, attempt the check. So now you're currently attempting the check. Yes, what do I roll to attempt the um, check? So right now, determine which skill you're using. Oh, I can just choose whatever? So, no. So if you don't have anything else, you use either your strength or melee skill. But you could play a spell that has the attack trait to change it to what's listed on the card. Mm. I see Lightning Touch, though, which yeah, does have electricity. Yeah. Uh, he's also immune to the poison traits. Yeah. And electricity. So you yeah. might be SOL against this guy if those are the only cards you have in your I hand. have Viper Strike. That has poison. Oh, goddamn. Yeah, I'm, I'm SOL. In that case, I'm definitely playing Elemental Treaty. Sure. So what does that do? Uh, all of it, my damage will be reduced by one. It's not great, but it's not bad. Cool. So now all damage dealt from this location until this location has been closed is dealt by. It. Is, nice. Cool. So not all acid, cold, electric. Nice. Blah blah blah, cool. blah blah. So I'll put that there to show that so that's I where that is. my strength. You roll a d4. Yeah. Hell yeah! Look, I didn't. So do So you it. take seven points of damage. Cool. 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 All right. All right. All right. One, two. Three, so if you have any four, armor, five, like your crocodile thing. Oh, I can still play. Oh, because well, it's a spell. It's an armor. Yeah. So if uh, it'll do what it says on it. So put a weapon in the head. No. Recharge this card. this card to reduce acid combat by two, so five. But it's combat, so yeah. So then you only take five damage. Yeah, and that goes at the bottom. Recharges right bottom, yeah. Let me just see if I'm like... Oh, Nathan, what's up? Take that card back. Okay. Because once back. again, abilities on cards they do. So when you encounter a bane that has the acid, cold, electricity, fire, or poison trait. Yep. Ignore, ignore its immunities. Okay, cool. So you can cool, use cool, any cool. spell you want. Cool, 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 cool. All right, all right, all right. So do you want to take this one back then? Just yeah, I'll in take case. It back. Cool. Yeah, I'm going to play Lightning Touch then. Nice. So how that works is it does what it says. That's plus 2d4 to my uh, arcane. arcane, which is a d12 plus 2. So you just got to roll 9 or higher with this. 3, 6, 7. 8, 9? Yeah. Because you got three, three six, six seven. seven, plus two, which oh, is eight, nine. nine. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. So I you defeat math. him. Um, and then resolve the bottom part of that card. Uh, after playing this card, if you do not have arcane skill. How's it going, Storm Quiver? I Evil do. Canadian. Otherwise, you may succeed in an arcane six check to recharge this card instead of discarding it. Tight. Uh, Our arcane, wait, no, is arcane is D12. Is, yeah. Plus two. Nice. Nice. Oh, it goes to the bottom of your deck. That's what recharge yeah, is. Yep, recharge. Nice. Um, okay. Cool. Am I good to go? One, two, three, yes. 
All right, we got the fuck. Dexterity, disable, stealth, intelligence. A malfunctioning death trap. Evil Canadian, how's it going? This is oh, a. Okay. Hi, Evil Canadian. Um, this is in fact a card game. Not a, not a board game. Oh no. What did you do? Oh, I guess I could try to intelligence my way through it. Malfunctioning tr death trap. Yeah, oh, I'm not in a good fun. place. Um. Perception. Oh! No, perception's not in there. It's to All right, I guess I just have to do this with intelligence. I'm the smartest boy who's ever lived. <laughs> Al. <laughs> You're good to go, Nathan. Pull. All right. Let's hang out here some more. Oh, it's an ally. It's a dredge. So when you would encounter a boon, recharge this card to exchange that boon with a random boon of the same type from the box and encounter that boon instead. That's really cute. Discard this card to explore your location during this exploration and 1d4 checks to acquire items. Cool, cool, cool. So it's charisma and diplomacy. Cool, both of which uh, I'm not amazing at. No. So he might just run away. Yeah, he's probably going to run away. Can I just, like, hit him? No, you can't hit him. <laughs> okay, let's figure that check. Hell yeah, I, I get to you, Canadian. That's not charisma. Six. Cool. See you, buddy. I shouldn't have even bothered. I think you technically have to roll, even just to make you look at I'm, it. All right. And just be like, uh, you good? Yeah, yeah, I'm good. All right. Oh! This is one of the henchmen. Hey, look at that. All Ooh. right. So, um, the mining construct is immune to mental and poison traits. All right. None of my things have poison. Just kidding, this one does. Uh, so I'm going to play Acid Jet, which allows me to do my Divine Skill plus 1d6 plus 2. Uh, if it has the Construct or Ooze trait, I roll an additional d6. He's fucking toast. So I defeated him. So if defeated, you may immediately attempt to close the location. If defeated the henchman by less than 6, so he has 10. I rolled 8, 15, 17, so no, I don't get that benefit. I do gain, uh, if you defeat a, a Bane that has a Construct trait, I draw an item. The Coal of Uncanny Discernment. Okay. I will attempt to close this. If we can succeed a Wisdom or Survival check with a difficulty of 6. That's just luck, I think. Uh, D12. Nice. I'll close this location. Hell yeah. So he's gone. Um, I will, on closing, you may examine the top card of any location deck. Oh, Nathan, you're going to look at this and say, sure. Um, and then this guy's closed. So all of these go back into the box, which I'll get to in a second. I'm just going to put them here. Let's see if I can recharge this card. I do. Yep. Uh, and then I have one, two, three, four, five. I'll uh, pass to you, Nathan. You can draw your blessing card, and I'll just reset all this. Wing blessing of Wadjet. Lottery urn. Sure. Yeah. <laughs> Check after you roll, recharge this card to choose a number, re-roll the dice that have... Um, you should, synthetic. Uh, interesting. Uh, wisdom. Six back. <laughs> Sorry, Nathan. I have these over here as well. Tight. Nice. What does it do? Uh, on a che uh, on your check after you roll, recharge this card to choose a number. Reroll all dice that have a value equal to that number. Take oh. the new result. Cool. Yeah. Cool. Are you done? Yeah. All right. One, two. So that's really good. We have a location close. Oh, I have to discard though. Sure. Um. um. Succeeded a constitution or fortitude check. How's your, your, your it's pretty, an eight. It's an eight, six. Um, let's get a strength or melee check. I'll come here because I think I'll be able to do this more because my dead husband's great. Bless. Flash freeze. Intelligence is a d8. Two, three, four, five, six. I'll have to discard a card. Uh, I'll discard this to look at the top two cards of my deck and put them back in any order. Oh, no.
Dead husband, are you going to help me? You're not going to help me. That's rough. Well, I'm going to do it in this way to put this off as long as I can. <laughs> I guess I also could come back here. That sounds shitty. Um, all right, I'll go to you. All right. It's because I'm a frail old woman. Yeah, that's fair. <gasps> oh, good. That's one of those guys. Nice. Cool, cool, cool. All right. Uh, I'm not going to be able to close it if I beat it. That's fine. Um, yeah, because right. we can leave it open and just have the guy run there, right? Yeah. All right, let's uh, let's punch him. Nice. Yeah. So I can cast the spell, and then however many like, like I can do this club and shield. Oh, the torch. Yeah, it's a club. It is. Yeah, I know it's a weapon. Yeah, yeah. I know it's a weapon. Um, yeah, you can use. Uh, there's no point. Uh, does no, the this... shield add dice or? Uh, uh, so armor is usually reactive. It's when you take damage. Yeah, usually. Re reduce this. You recharge this card to reduce, yeah. This is Mummy's Mask, Storm Quiver. Okay, so. Uh, it doesn't matter what he's immune to. No. Because I'm great. Uh, cool. Yeah, I'm going to do that because my combat's not great. No, no. Neither of us. We need spells. <laughs> uh, and I'm going to add the torch to it. Cool, so Might what does that well. do? Um... Reveal this card. To use your strength or melee plus one. Oh, so it, you because they they conflict. This one oh, okay. uses this. Oh, okay. Yeah. All right. Uh, I'll roll Don't forget about your uh, divine skill. Your, uh, your arcane skill, sorry. Don't forget about your d12 plus two. That's what I'm fighting with is arcane? Yes. Am I always fighting with arcane? Uh, only when you play this spell. So this one for your combat check, discard this card to use yeah, your arcane. Yeah, yeah, okay. Nice. Well, you, you ru oh, what did you get? Uh, 12. 13, 14, 15. 15. So because you defeated him by 6, you also draw an item from the deck. Hell yeah. And because you defeated Construct, you also, this also Hell draws Hell yeah. Item. Holy water grenade. So you cannot close your location, no, right? Because I don't have any blessings. Awesome. Uh, then don't forget to see if you recharge that uh, uh, yes. Viper Strike. Uh, Nice. <clears throat> yep, that's what the bottom of the deck is. <sighs> Am I good to go, Nathan? All right, so we know he'll probably run into here, but then we can chase him. So we'll just try to do what we can. Actually, sorry, I'm, I'm going to also move over here because I'm not ready emotionally for that thing yet. That's fair. It's a fire hydra. Ooh. And we're level one. I have holy water. <laughs> Intelligence. Does holy water do anything cool? No. Nope. See you later, acid flask. Okay. Um, no, I'm, it's not the holy anti. It's not the holy hand, hand grenade of Antioch. I'm gonna recharge a spell to examine the top two cards of my deck. If either of them have the undead trait, I can encounter them. Um. Okay. Nathan, you're good to go. Okay, I'm just gonna keep doing stuff. Oh here. no, if you leave this open, okay, yeah. um we can have the bad guy flee there, then come back to him. Okay. Or you could go through it and then uh try to exp uh close it again when it's empty, or you could move to a new location. We could work on this one together. Yeah, hey, let's hang out. Hey, let's let like me this. tell you about my best friend. Armor, that's what's on top. So how do we deal with that? Oh, no, it's you. Uh, it's oh, just because it's, it's my turn. Yes, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah I can yeah. just now help you. Constitution, fortitude, or intelligence craft. Gonna, gonna do intelligence. Wow. You're so good at getting these cards. We charge this card to reduce acid combat or electricity damage dealt to you by two or by three if the damage is dealt to you before or after you act. If proficient with light armors, that's me. Bury this card to reduce all damage dealt to you by five. You may succeed at a craft nine check to recharge. I have no craft skill. You done? Yeah. One, two, all three, right. four. Look at this. It's a yellow jelly. Cute. Uh, he's immune to mental, piercing, poison, and slashing. Well, how about acid? If the check to defeat has the acid or cold trait, add three. Wow, I did it. <clears throat> 1d6. Constructor Ooze, I have another D6. I feel like he's going to die. Yep, I rolled really high. 
After all, if the protection res res defeat is greater than 12, it is, I get 1d4 acid damage. That's unfortunate. One well, hey. acid damage. I'm going to get rid of this flash freeze. But he's defeated, so that's great. Uh, let's check to see if I do this. I actually want to not have it happen. Good what job. Hey, dead husband. Hey, draw that dead card. husband. Um, oh, no, don't want to do that. I was about to shuffle my deck. Then my dead husband would have been gone forever. Uh, Nathan, you're good to go. Ooh, genie can. When you examine this card, don't need to worry about that. The guilty is... So he just has eight. He just has yeah, eight. That's not worth it. Eight. Actually, yeah, uh, I'm going to use the Holy Water Hand Grenade. Sure, what does that do? Uh, banish this card to defeat it. Whoa. If it has the Outsider or Undead trait and its difficulty is 12 or lower. Whoa. See you later. That's great. Cool. You done? Yep. Let's keep this going. Ooh, a Glacial oh, nice. Kopesh plus that. one. I'll never get this. But maybe my dead husband will help me. Uh, I'm going to make him use a, a 1d10. Uh, he just always going back to the top of your deck. Uh, for So I can either recharge, get spells back or... Yeah. Get the uh, 1d10 for strength, constitution, or perception, and then he goes on top of my deck That's for right. these. I also can, when I would discard him as damage, he goes on the bottom of my deck. Hmm. So I can't lose my dead. He's kind of like everything I have. He's all I have. So it's cute. Fucking dead husband. I don't know what I would do with a Kopesh, but... <laughs> Just, it would help you. Good to go, buddy. I'll quit. Oh, whip. <laughs> whip. Watch me. Whip. Whip. Watch me. <laughs> There's nothing I can do to get back. Yeah, it's just it's like it's just like it's a way for the game to balance and have us waste turns. Yeah. Are you done? Yeah, I'm done. All right. Oh, we got the henchman. Giant sand the eel. So he's uh. Twice the scenarios adventure deck number. Two times zero, folks, is zero. Uh, if undefeated, shuffle this card into a random open location deck. If defeated, shuffle this card into a random other open location deck. You may immediately attempt to close the location this guy came from. All right. Well. Um, I'm going to use this Frost Staff. Uh for your combat check, recharge this card and discard a spell. I'm going to discard uh, Cure to give it uh, Arcane and Divine. So I have a D12 plus 2D4. And I need to roll an 11, which is pretty high. This is a time that if you had cards that you could put for other players, you could do it. If not, that's okay. What kind of damage does it deal? Uh, no damage. Well, it just does combat damage. Just plain old uninteresting combat damage? Yeah. Can I give you armor? Only if I take... Uh, no, 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 no. And that only comes if I take damage. Okay, let's please hit this guy. Uh, 10 plus 2 is 12, which will defeat him. Hell yeah. So this gets recharged. Uh, but what's more importantly, we defeat this guy. So he's going to get shuffled into a random open location. How's it going, Waffle House? Um, and then I can attempt to close this location. Succeed a Constitute or Fortitude check with a difficulty a of... Constitute. Uh, let's do my dead husband. To roll a d10. I would really love to close this. Dead husband, why? <laughs> why, why? That's me. Go, go, go. All right, all right, all right. All right. Perfect timing. And there's that. Ooh, Charisma or Diplomacy. What's your charisma? D6? Uh, six. One second, let me just see if I can do anything. I do not have any diplomacy. No, but you still get your just your charisma. D6, but it's a 7. No, I don't think it's worth for me to use a blessing for this. See you later. Peace out, lady. You good? Yeah, I'm good. Alright. Uh, I'm going to move to this location. Keep digging through here. Now that that's shuffled, I might not run into that 
Oh, there's the villain. Hey. All right. Bone Crusher Master. So now we have a choice. So you can attempt to close this uh, temporarily. So it's either you succeeded a constitution or fortitude check of six. Uh, there's no penalty if you fail because it doesn't like this one we might you might not want to do if you're on it right because it causes you to lose a card but this one you just roll a die and you might be able to temporarily close it nope, nope. Uh, all right so let's see if i can defeat him when you dealt, dealt damage by bone crusher you may discard all right cool so i have acid uh so i rolled d12 plus a d6 uh, i'm going to use the blessing of the elements to add another d12 i think it'll be good I hope so. Me too. He's defeated. So a lot, a few things happen. First things first, I instantly close my location. So what this does, it um, it confirms that because the fucker is not in here, that snake. So he's up here. Um, so that's good. This is closed. When closing, draw an item from the box. Don't mind if I do. These can go, this can go. Hunga Munga. Um, and then he is going to go into one of these locations. Want to become famous? Buy followers. Hell on yeah. Follow on bot. How's it going, follow on bot? I'm going to ban you. <laughs> it was such a, it was short lived. Yeah, chance for fame. Um, this, let's see if I get this back. I do. Oh. Um. I can discard a card at any time to... At the end, yeah, during the end of your turn, draw. you can, like, clean... You, yeah, you can discard cards from your hand to clean up. Um. Yeah, I'm gonna be doing that to end my turn. I'm gonna discard this canteen. But actually, before, I'm gonna recharge my husband. Cute. To grab cure. Then discard canteen, so I draw my husband. Okay. Oh, sorry, this should be on the bottom of my yeah. deck. Come on, man. I know I'm cheating. Uh, so one small downside, you can go, by the way, is that I am out of damage spells for the time being. Okay. Well, I'm going to uh, continue here. Nice. Excellent. So nice. that's a D12. Nice, gain it. Excellent. Damn, now I'll never be famous. Sorry, non-unique guy. Okay, I can, can I move at the end of my turn? No, you have to no, move before. No, you have to move at the beginning? Okay, yeah. okay. You also could keep exploring if you want, because we know that the bad guy might be this. in here. Nice. Uh, because then, do you have any, do you, wait, do you have blessings in your hand? I do, yeah. Oh, okay. I'll probably go up here. I mean, I, I kind of want to, like, not, we're still, how many turns do we have left? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So we have five turns left yeah. each. Uh, there's two cards in here. One, two, three, four, five, six cards in here. So we have seven cards over, so we're good. We'll probably get through all the cards, assuming we pass the tests. Okay. Uh, it's just a point where it's a bit scary You're now. confident in closing this? Uh, when you get to it? I'm gonna... Yeah. Yeah, uh, it's okay. okay. You All stay right. here. Maybe we see what happens. Oh, it's a... Acid Mantis. Uh, when you examine this card, either banish a card that has the animal you not examine. amount. Uh, if you check... If the check... One more time. If the check to defeat has the acid or poison trait, add three. All damage dealt by Acid Mantis is acid damage. Nice. Nine. So a lot of allies uh, allow you to also explore locations. But yeah. yeah, just so you know, there's also those things. I'm going to dis... Wait, uh, do I have to... When I'm playing weapons, is that after I've rolled? No, it's before you roll. Before I've rolled. Because you determine what you're going to roll with. Cool. I'm going to discard this to add 2d4 to my roll. Nice. So then to your strength, to your strength. To my strength. So you roll 3d4. And these are in response. And that will potentially let me re-roll if I have to. Let's see what happens. You need to roll 9 or higher on 3d4. Not great odds. Not great odds, but you did it. I did, yeah. Wow, good job. You killed that fucker. Hell yeah. Is that your turn? Yep. All right. Uh, I can. Uh, um, that was just a reveal. Right. So it yeah, goes yeah, back. Yeah. No, it's reveal. So it goes back in your hand. Disc no, you may additionally discard this card to add two d four. 
It's revealed. Oh, okay. The Real then discard. Okay, yeah. yeah, I see. So was that? So you actually had plus one to that roll as yeah. well. Yeah. Okay. All right. I'm gonna go. Uh, first things first. I'm gonna cast Cure Wounds on me. Choose a character at my location. I choose me. Mm -hmm. I will heal uh, four random cards. So the reason I'm doing this for people watching at home is I, I'm not too worried about my health. It's more the fact that I recharged all my damage spells to the bottom of my deck, and I want to be able to kill things. That's fair. That's, that's fair, normally that's how this I game... I also have all of my damage spells at the bottom of my deck. Yeah, there's a, there's a lot of cool things you can do with your characters if you find the build. Uh, I'm so jealous of Megan. She's playing an alchemist, and they have an ability whenever you would uh, banish a card with the alchemical trait, discard it instead. And she has this sick-ass fucking fire spear that has that. And, like, she can just get roll 4d8s for an attack, and then with she has two potions that allow her to find weapons with the alchemical trait in her deck. That's ridiculous. It's pretty cool. Okay, let's move up here, and let's explore. Blade, Poison Blade Death Trap. All right, so either you dexterity and acrobatics traps. or disable and knowledge. Oh, I have to see, I also see how to recharge this. I don't. Well, dead husband, that's a job for you. All right, so dexterity and acrobatics, I roll a d4. Disable and knowledge. So knowledge, I actually roll a d12 plus two. That's really good. So let's do it. Oh, fuck. So I take two damage. Oh, no, sorry. If undefeated, each character location is dealt 1d4 poison damage. So that's three damage. Um, uh, so... Oh, no. I guess I'm going to discard a blessing to reduce the damage by three. It's an ability on my character. If you fail to defeat something, it's shuffled back in. Then I'm going to kill this porcupine to explore again. Oh, fuck. I'm not ready for this. Uh, so I'm going to recharge my... I'm going to put my husband on top of my deck to roll a d10. I'm going to fail. I'm trying to mitigate damage loss. You didn't. I didn't. All right. <laughs> uh, this is fuck city up here. Fuck city. Fuck Are you playing fuck, this with Megan offline? City. No, we played it during the uh, eight-hour stream. It was the other time we played it. All right, you're good to go, my friend. Good okay. thing I healed two, three, Let's, four, five. Hey, wall sides. Those are my favorite. Uh, okay, that's good. Dexterity, draw. acrobatics, disable, knowledge. Hmm. Well, balls. I have knowledge, intelligence. <laughs> yeah, that, that counts. That counts? Yeah. Okay, because so it's just knowledge. D Twelve plus one. I should be fine. That's what I thought, and then my husband betrayed me. I should be fine. He is. Nine, ten. Thank you, Nathan. That was rough. Uh, it's just automatically closed now, right? No, you no. still have to close it. Constitution or fortitude. That's six. You can close. You can close it for free. It's the last thing you do in your turn before hand cleanup. Oh, okay. So I'm close it for free. No, no. You can attempt to close it for, for free. free. Yeah, 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 yeah. I want my die back. Thanks, though. No. Constitution or fortitude. With the difficulty of six plus zero. Just a D8. Okay. I mean, worst case scenario, we find the villain in here, he runs over here, and we just defeat him. Yeah, right. That's true. Or you just do it. On closing, discard a weapon. If you have any weapons in hand. I don't think you do. I don't. Because your torch is your only weapon in your deck. Do I only have one weapon in my deck? Yeah, you only have one weapon. I do. All right. All right. Am I good to go? Yeah, you're good. All right. Oh, acute senses. Sure, I'll take that. I don't know what it does. Um, Tomb Raider. Let's uh, discard him to explore my location. Hey, Yulby. How's it going, Yulby? Ooh, Clinging Valen. That deals damage. Oh! Excuse me? <laughs> okay, sure. That's uh, just a spell that's gone. I should have dropped a card. Uh, mm. And then I'm going to play... I'm going to discard this to examine the top two cards of my deck. I can put them back in any order. Uh, hey, Nathan, if you have damage, he's on top. Hey, you, tight. Um, I have you, no damage. Okay, I will have damage next turn. If you have anything that you want to come over here and help, we can fight him together. Like, yeah, cool sure. Friends. Oh, hey, how are you? Hey. Stand on my head. Oh. <laughs> sit on my face and tell me that you love me. I'll sit on your face and tell you that I love you, too. 
Life is mighty fine. Oh my god, this 69. is gonna be so cool. Are you good? Yep. All right. Oh, I don't have to do anything? No, you don't have to. Oh, you hey, just cool. pass. I'm just gonna pass. All right, here he is. So watch this. Okay. They're going all out. All right. I'm gonna immolate him. Ooh. So I go D12 plus 2D4. Tight. Oh, nice. Um, in addition, I'm gonna play this Flash Freeze. Which adds the 1d12 and the cold trait to a check that invokes the construct or fire trait. So we're going all out. But we're not done because I really want to win. Uh, I'm going to do the Blessing of Elements to roll an additional d12 against this guy. Got anything else you want to throw out in there? No. <laughs> so I just need to roll an 11. Ah, oh, you fucked up. He is defeated. Can you imagine if those are all ones? Oh, God. In, in, when you play the digital version, uh, it shows you the percentage of doing it. So you're like, 80%, I'm fine. Then you fail, and you're like, motherfucker! Uh, we win, though. Hey, we this did This automatically it. closes. All right, so Nathan. Hi. How this works is you get the reward... So you get Felsen, Deke, and Haddon Hopper. So the next time you finish the scenario, you can go shopping. I don't know how to go shopping because I've never earned these guys before. So I'm going to go shopping because I already have them. So how it works is whenever you defeat, complete a scenario, you can visit one of the uh, traders that are there. Okay. Are those the traders? Yes. Okay. And you just earned them. Oh, okay. So yep. I've earned the ability to trade with them. Exactly, yes. That's kind of bullshit, but that's fine. Yeah, no, that's what I thought too, but not right now. Now I'm the happiest boy who's ever lived. Uh, and then we'll go through the next start. How? Where are traders? I don't know. Is there an index? Traders. Yeah, table of contents is what I meant, not index. No, but index is better because then you can look by like trader. Joe. I thought, oh, traders. Excuse me. Excuse me. How's it going, chat land? Well, I'm looking up the word traders. There are pictures right here, but there's nothing about them. I'm about to look at a forbidden bagel. Ooh. Oh, it's just puppies. Ah, oh, traitor. Okay. So how you choose a trader you want to visit. Our two traders are False and Deke, who trades items, and Haddon Hopper, who trades spells. Uh, so I'm going to visit the spell guy. You draw yeah, like a better idea. one plus the number of players visiting him. And I can buy one of these by paying two cards from my deck. Ooh, Kanak. <laughs> Ooh, the fabled spell, Kanak. Um, oh, that's really good. Like, that's a really good thing that I might actually want for my build. The problem is I'm a very offensive character. But I think I kind of do want it. So I'm going to burn these two cards... No, the canteen can go to fucking burn, hell. Burn, baby, burn. Justin's in fire now. Yeah, we'll burn these. I'll get knock. So then how it goes from here, Nathan, is um, with your deck of cards, you have to, everything you earned, you just have to go back to your deck size. Oh, okay. So yeah, just follow that. Okay. And then we do the next one. Bye, YouTube. See you guys.